What's up, y'all? You know, um, took my son George uh, to the dentist today, and um, he delivered some some good news to us, uh, some bad news to George. He told us the binkies had to go. You see that thing? Yeah, binkies have to go. Now, you got to know my son. He, um, he, in order to sleep, he has to have one in his mouth and one in each hand. As a matter of fact, we brought him into the dentist office. The dentist saw he had one in his mouth, one in his hand. Said, "Oh, that's not good." And so, um, the running joke in in the house here is that George doesn't need a security blanket. He's got a security binky. Um, so. We loaded him up into the car and um, and were bound and determined not to give him his binky anymore. And he yelled and he screamed and he cried. And you know it's it's tough being in a car with a baby who's screaming his head off. And um, so you know I, I'm I'm telling him like you know, mommy and daddy know what's best for you. You know. Um, we, we don't want you to go through this, but it'll be okay. And I began to, to think, man, what a, isn't that like our relationship with God? You know, we, we put our security in so many other things than what the Father is telling us. Um, you know, we put our security in our bank accounts. We put our security in our relationships with others. We put our security in our jobs. And, you know, sometimes things have to be taken away from us because we're putting our security in them and not in God. The only one who can truly make us secure. And, you know, I, I think about my own life and I think about all of the things I, I placed my security in and how as God began to carve those things out of my life, how I screamed and how I cried, but I'm glad now, looking back, that he took those things out of my life, because he knows best, and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way today, and, you know, um, the reason why, you know, the doc, the dentist said no more binkies for my son was because, of course, it's going to begin to deform his teeth and, and, and the roof of his mouth, and and, you know, though my son doesn't understand that right now, I do as his father. And, you know, I can put up with the whining and the crying and the screaming because I know that he doesn't understand right now. But one day he will. One day when he has that beautiful smile, he can know that Daddy kept him secure from having a deformed mouth. Yeah, so... Um, what are you putting your security in? It's time to uh, time to get rid of our binkies. I love you guys, and uh, talk to you later.